Hi, in this CrocoBlock tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can apply filters to the Elementor Pro loop grid like this. So in this situation, I just have a simple loop grid with six items and I wanted to have a search function. So if I type in something like Rome, you can see that it will pull up any posts that have the word Rome in it. So in order to follow this tutorial, you will need Elementor Pro and JetSmart filters. So let's jump into the back end and get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is go underneath JetSmart filters and their settings. So just click the settings button right here. And under general settings, you're going to want to make sure that you have this one enabled. So Elementor Pro Loop Grid. Just make sure that that's on because if you don't have that on, it's not going to work correctly uh, when you set up your JetSmart filters. The next step is we need to set up the filter that we're going to be using. So just click on JetSmart filters and then this button up here, add new, just click that and give the filter a name. So I'm just going to type in something like search filter. Then down here under filter type, just click this button search. And you need to make sure that underneath search by you have this one enabled. So default WordPress search. So that's just going to use the WordPress search functionality. Then underneath here where it says placeholder, um, this is by default, it's just search with the three dots. So you can put in whatever you need right here. So you can say search by or whatever you need. And that's all you have to do. Then you just go ahead, hit update. So now you have your filter ready. And here we are in the back end of an Elementor page. And what we need to do is add two different things. We need to add the Elementor loop grid, and then we need to add the search filter itself. So the first thing is let's go ahead and add the loop grid. So just type in the word loop and just click this one called loop grid. And in this situation, I already have a template created. So if you don't have a template already, you could just click this button, create a template, and then add in your pieces to make it a template. But in this situation, I already had one just called search loop. And as you can see, very simple, it's just pulling in a feature and image and the title. And we just need to set up one other thing in here before we can add the filter. And that is right here where it says is filterable. Just make sure that you click yes. So this enables it to work with Jet Smart Filter. So you're gonna always make sure that's on. And this is just pulling in the regular posts. So in this situation, I'm using a custom post type called location, so I can enable that. Now what we need to do is add in the filter itself. So if you just go up here and just type in the word search, you can see there's this widget right here called search filter. That is the Jet Smart Filters search filter. And what you need to do is just do a search for the filter you created already. And then this part right here is gonna be the most important. This filter is for, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you click Elementor Pro Loop Grid. So if you don't select that one, it's not gonna work correctly with this loop grid. And then down here, I like to do Ajax on typing. So what that means is when the user types in at least three letters, it's gonna automatically start to filter out your results right here. So that's it. Once you have all of that set up, what we can do is now hit update and test it on the front end. And here we are on the front end of that page. So if you just go ahead and type in something like Rome, you're going to see that it's only going to filter out the post that talks about Rome. And another one, if we just do like Iceland, it should just pull up right here. And that's how easy it is to use JetSmart filters with the Elementor Pro Loop Grid. Thank you for watching.